Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to 2021. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> but anyways, it's good to be back. Uh, my name's Christy, if you're new to this channel. In this video, I'm going to go through pretty much everything that I got for Christmas, and we're going to play around with a bunch of makeup, and this is the finished look that I came up with. I wanted to have some fun with it. I got a bunch of new palettes and everything and I also just wanted to quickly mention these earrings that I'm wearing absolutely beautiful earrings that were sent to me by uh, Etsy store owner um, Hugh Park she's the designer the store name is HK handcrafted uh, it's on Etsy again. I will link it in the description bar. These that I'm wearing are the multi-line chandelier luxury earrings. They're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, stunningly gorgeous. She makes costume jewelry all handmade. She, you know, completely puts every single attention to detail into all of her jewelry. So make sure you check out the site that I'll link in the description bar. Um, these retail for $29.99 and believe me, they do not, I mean, I'll do an up close uh, picture of them and insert it in this video, but believe me, you have to see them in person to see how stunning they are. And so anyways, if you want to see how I got this look and you want to get into everything that I got for Christmas and have some fun with me, get ready and everything like that, then just keep on watching. It's 2021. What do you think about that? Seems crazy to me, but I am super happy about it. I am over 2020. And I would just like to move on like the rest of you. <laughs> I have not made any New Year's resolutions or anything like that. But yeah, we'll just uh, hope and pray that 2021 is going to be a great year. But in this video, I'm going to share, you know, all the cool stuff that I got for Christmas. Man, I like everybody knew that I started my YouTube channel this year. So everybody's like, oh, we'll get her makeup for Christmas. I ain't mad about it because, wow, I had a fun Christmas in that sense. Everything else was crazy hectic. That's a whole nother video, okay? Whole nother video. Oh my gosh. But anyways, we won't get into that. We're going to have some fun with some new makeup. Um, I got the Amorezzi palette um i know this isn't quite new new but it's new to me so i was super stoked about it except my one ay, my one shadow came broken there if you can see that so i don't want to like totally tilt it and ruin it i'm gonna try to salvage it and you know repot it down i got some makeup by mario and i've already dabbled a little bit into this palette Oh my gosh, the chromes and everything in this palette are stunning. I cannot even tell you. Like, they are beautiful. And then the other day that came in, because um, I also got, like, gift cards and all sorts of different stuff. I have a huge family, so, you know, people get, like, you know, gift cards and whatnot. But I got the parental advisory um, palette from peachyqueen.com or something like that. Dang, it's hard to open. Okay. So, looks like this. I know, profanity, crazy, but, uh, that's a good shot for you. But anyways, yeah, so, comes with some really bright, fun colors. And then, also, I picked up this palette that was from that same site, and because I just want some colorful palettes, I got quite a few, you know, neutral palettes, quite a few. So, oh, oh, this comes off. Okay. Hmm. So it's magnetic. It's one of those sugar skull candy sugar skull things. I've always wanted to go to Mardi Gras. Oh my gosh, man. It'd be so cool. Comes with a little plastic flap and look at these colors. Oh my goodness. Like so pretty i haven't even swatched these guys like i am super excited but yeah i mean 
Um, my daughter also got me the One Beetlejuice palette that is around somewhere, but you know, you can only put so much makeup on your face, y'all. Um, and then the Scott Barnes Sculpt and Contouring palette that, uh, that's why I'm white as a ghost. So we're starting with a blank canvas today and I'm going to go as quickly as I can. So that's what this looks like, the Sculpt palette. I like a lot of cool tones because I'm very light and if you are very light, cool tones are great to contour with. I know a lot of people like, you know, warm this, warm that, but honestly, if you are light skin toned, go with the cooler tones. Like even the little Smashbox palette. Um, this is a great deal too because it comes with the brush and whatnot. But as you see here, it has very cool tones, especially with what this one right here. Um, it's great for contouring. I love it. Honestly, I'm telling you, if you're very fair, stick with those kind of colors. The orangey browns, they're not going to be too uh, pleasant looking. It's going to look very muddy. And then I got the Scott Barnes. Um, it's called Glowy and Showy. And oops plastic. Get off. Damn you. Looks like this. It's a highlighting palette. Now, if you don't know who Scott Barnes is, he is Jennifer Lopez's, yes, Jennifer Lopez's makeup artist. So if he can make some highlight glow and I can glow like the JLo glow, um, yeah, I'm all about that life. I don't know. If it's going to be as good as JLo, because, come on, her skin is just, like, fabulous. But, you know, it's worth giving it a try. And then, oh, my husband, this is so adorable. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this to, I'm going to try to use this. It's got a very small mirror in it and everything like that. But look at this. It is, like, it's not real crystals or anything. But it's a Hello Kitty like handhold handheld mirror that I can use while I'm like doing my tutorials and whatnot. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I think he got it off of Amazon, I believe. And if I can find it, I will link it for you guys. Because if you're a Hello Kitty fan like me, I was just dying. I'm like, oh my god, it's so cute. It was one of the things I was like seriously excited about. I mean, amongst everything else, but I also got some um, Steel and Magnificent medals that I didn't own. I only owned one because they're pretty pricey, okay? So I did get these two for Christmas, which are beautiful, and I really planned on using them for a New Year's Eve look, but that didn't happen. Sorry, y'all. Um, in Diamond Dust and Perlina... Um, Diamond Dust is like a straight up like white color kind of like this. It's very beautiful. And then um, Diamond Dust is um, a silvery, silvery, um, let me just swatch them for you really quick. I mean, if you've never tried Steel and Magnificent Metals, they are just beautiful, gorgeous, See, I don't, I don't ever like swatches. Y'all, I don't do swatches on my arm because I'm too lazy or anything. I just think you can't ever get a real good show and tell of how the product works and how it's going to work until you actually play with it on your eye. Arm swatches, no, no. I want to see it actually perform in action. But uh, this is the Perlina, the white so yeah it's see it just doesn't come off and show the way that it really should with my lights and yeah so, anyways what i was getting at is tissue tissue okay so what i was getting at is because those are so expensive and I did plan on doing a New Year's Eve look, I was like, oh, I want some more colors, but there's no way I am like going crazy and spending, I think these are $22 a piece, dude. I'm not spending $22 a piece on these. So I went on Amazon and I found an entire kit. Oh shoot, I'm gonna say, 
maybe $12.99, maybe at most $19.99 for this entire set of like sorry it's hard for me to hold all of these at once <laughs> glitters and shimmers and I mean they look just similar they look so similar to the steel and magnificent um metals the glitter metals so I was like uh yes yeah, sign me up I mean there's one two three four there's eight of them you get eight and they're all different colors exactly what I wanted and you know, I did swatch a few and they're, they really seem to perform well. Again, you have to tell when you actually work with them on your eye. I'm a true believer in that. You know, all these beauty bloggers and YouTube channels that are like swatcheroo, swatcheroo, like that's all great and fine and everything for pictures, but no, no. Because you ever go into Sephora and I should probably get started and just like start working on a look. I haven't bronzed or contoured or anything so as I'm talking let's get moving because I know my videos have been like super long lately um but anyways um you know how you go into Sephora and you like you know dab your finger here and there and whatnot into uh you know an eyeshadow palette a bronzer whatever you get my point and uh, next thing you know, like you get it home and you're not very happy with it. You know what I'm saying? Like it swatched good in the store. Why, you know, when I'm now putting it on my eye and playing around with it, why does it look like not so nice, you know? Um, because the skin on your eye is much, much different than the skin on your arm. That's why. So, you know, and plus two, you know, you're using primer on your eye, you're not using primer on your arm in the store, especially like, you know, so it's just going to be different. You know, the whole experience is going to be different. You can get an idea. So I still like to swatch in the stores before I buy, obviously, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm just taking that Scott Barnes palette and trying to get my five head and excuse the hairdo. You know, I wanted to show off the beautiful earrings, so that's why I put my hair up. And I curled it last night, and mm, yeah, I was just, it was late last night. <laughs> and I was trying this new curling iron, and dude, I don't know what happened, but mm, it did not come out good. It came out, like I wanted the beachy wave look, but it came out more... I don't know, just a mess. It looked like a rat's nest when I woke up this morning. And the more that I brushed it, the more that it became just like, yikes, okay? So just bear with me, deal with the Pebbles Bam Bam look because <laughs> that's what we're rocking. Plus, you know, I don't wear my hair up that often, so I figured, why not? And plus it showcases the earrings a little bit better that way, you know what I'm saying? Holidays were just hectic, and I tell you, like, every single year, it just gets more and more crazy, and I'm hard on myself. I'm one of those people that just need to, like, go all out. Like, there's no in-between with me. You know, when I commit to something, oh, dude, I am fully, fully committed and a psycho about it. <laughs> Like, even my husband tells me constantly, he's like, it's fine, because we celebrate Christmas at my house, like, everybody comes here. Well, when I say everybody, I mean, like, my mom, my brother, you know, his uh, soon-to-be wife, kids, all the kids, my kids, his kids, you know. So, like, all the parents, you know, so it's a lot of people, especially in my little small house we definitely need to get a bigger house which will be happening in the hopefully near future yeah i like this light contour it's pretty cool and i did this new thing with my brows oh i'm gonna have to do a brow tutorial i forget who asked me one of y'all asked me to do a brow tutorial i will get on that because uh i actually tried the soap brow um, it's kind of a newer technique and that's why I'm looking brow today, at least I think so. Um, 
not in a good way. I don't know. I'm still debating. It's a tricky technique. I'll say that much for sure. But uh, I'll do a video on it and show you guys quickly on the whole soap brow thing. And uh, just right now, I'm using the good old fashioned The Bomb Frat Boy. I love this blush. Like, it's not new because I didn't get a new blush, but it's just I haven't used it in a while. So I'm like, I'm pulling this bad boy out because I miss using it. But yeah, anyways, um, the soap brow thing. I like it and I like the concept. It does for sure. I mean, like glue those puppies like down. Holy crap. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of like you have to work very, very fast because it just, your brows get laminated real quick. It's like using super glue on your eyebrows. No jokes. Okay. So if, um, <laughs> Yeah, if you're looking to try that technique, it's definitely one of those, like, um, practice, practice, practice. It's one of those things that I'm going to have to try more than once to be like, hmm, do I really like it or do I stick to my old brow routine? We shall see. Yeah, I think we're all happy and over 2020. I'm telling you, it was the most life-changing year for me, like, beyond. I can't even, like I said in, I think, one of my Instagram videos. I also got this cute stocking stuffer, oh my gosh, by Dan, uh, by Benefit. It's the Dandelion. Again, this isn't new, but I always wanted to try this. Ooh, wait. I should try the Scott Barnes highlighter and see if I can glow like Halo. All right, we'll try that other one another time, because... If I can glow like J-Lo, I'm all about that. We'll see how this goes. Alright, I think I'm going to use, obviously, the lightest color. Maybe I'll mix it also with the Pinkaboo and the Pink Crush here. Those are the two lightest colors. And we will see a trick that I've learned, too. I'll show y'all. So, I'm going to take my Morphe M501, just very small, detailed highlighting brush. I love this brush for highlighting. Um, oh, but I usually, what I do is I just spray a little Fix Plus first and foremost. Because, yes, I do like my powders. And then... We'll just dry this down a little. Oh, this is another cute, oh my gosh, um, thing that I got for Christmas. Again, Amazon, I'll link it. It's just a little fan. Let's dry this up a little, tiny, tiny. Oh, there's a third one. Okay, so anyway, hey, I turned you off, hey, 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 off, okay, so then you just take a little bit of your highlighter, because your face is still a little damp, and then press it into the skin, and if you really want to go bling bling with it, then you can take a damp beauty blender sponge. This one's still damp, but I mean little, like don't go ham in it, okay? Cause you'll be strobing. And it just like melts it into the skin. So it looks more natural rather than powdery. And that's what we go for, you know? We want the natural, I mean, Come on, we're, we're never natural, but you know what I'm saying. Natural as can be. Um, I mean, it's pity, but I was expecting a little bit more from me, Mr. Barnes. Hmm. I don't know. 
I was expecting like gleaming, beaming from the stars, you know what I'm saying? Let's put a little, little nose action on here. Hmm. Oh, okay. Whoa. All right. We got we got a beaming nose. <laughs> I'll turn down my lights for you so you can get like a full on effect and really see what I'm seeing here. Because unfortunately with all the lights, it just doesn't give you the true, true effect of what's going on with highlighting. It's all about lighting, I tell you folks. That's why if you ever notice, like when you go out in the sun and stuff like that, you're like, oh, you're in the house, you're putting your highlighter on, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more, I'll put a little bit more. And then you go out and you look in your sun visor in your car. I've discussed this in other videos too. And you're like, oh shit, I put on way too much highlighter. It's because, again, lighting. The sun's gonna hit that and it's gonna look like you drenched yourself in highlighter. So look in a couple different lights before you leave the house because you will be shocked. All right, so now you can probably see a little bit better. I mean, it's hard to tell. Like I said, it's not like blinding, you know what I mean? Like, and I mean, I put quite a bit on there. Like, hmm. I've seen much better highlighters out there. Which makes me sad, Scott. I don't want to like, you know, not like your product. I'm just saying I've seen better. <laughs> I feel like that Jim Carrey movie in Liar Liar. I've had better. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that dandelion on top of it. What the hell? Why not? I haven't said it in a while. Why not? You know what I feel like with this mirror? Welcome back to my channel. Who's that? <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Oh, Put a little dandelion on top of it. Come on, Benefit. Come through. Come through. I mean, in person, I can fully see it. Again, I don't know how much picks up on camera versus in person, but... Yeah, in person, I'm, I'm glowing. But yeah, I was expecting that, you know, J-Lo wet glow that she always has on stage. He must be saving the good stuff for her. That's what it is. He's saving the good stuff for her because she's probably like, no. Not everybody's going to look as good as me. That's not happening. I got it figured out. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to first kind of lay down. I'm going to use that parental advisory. I'm going to first lay down... I'm going to use these two colors on the bottom here. Hell and damn. <laughs> so light pinky and peachy. Because I remember y'all wanted me to do that monochromatic look again. Or on my Instagram. I never did it. Um, but I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. So... Oh, the shedding of my brushes, I tell you what. That's why instead of like full on clean cleaning them, the other thing I did get was the color switch. And if you've never tried the color switch, I would highly recommend it. It instantly removes makeup and it's just simply a sponge like this and you dip your brush in like this and it instantly cleans it. It's by Vera Mona. You can get it off of Amazon. Again, I can link it in the description bar below. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice if you don't want to constantly, constantly be cleaning your brushes. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they do get worn out after a while. And I've had some of these brushes, like this is my MAC 217. Dude, I've had this brush, no joke, probably for like, I don't even know, maybe 10 years, maybe 
eight, nine, ten years, something along those lines. A long time, let's put it that way. So, the old girl, she's been put through it. So, did anybody do anything for New Year's Eve? I know it was last night. You know you're old, okay. Me and my husband were making jokes. You know you're old when you have to take a nap <laughs> so you can stay up till midnight. How sad is that, right? Like, oh my gosh, that's embarrassing to even admit to and say. Oh my goodness. Like, that is just too funny. Y'all are probably like, how old are you? I'm really, I'm not that old, but it just... You know, I get tired. Plus, like I explained in my whole um, Instagram video, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going into the Anastasia Anna Marezzi palette and using uh, Semsa. It's a dark purple color. And, uh, but yeah, if you have what I have, especially, you, uh, definitely need to take your naps. I've learned that. I've learned to slow down, take care of myself, you know, when you've got different, you know, health problems or whatnot. And I've had, I got lupus, diagnosed with lupus when I was quite young. So I've had it for quite a while. And, uh, yeah, I've learned throughout the years when I need to tone it down. Because last year I got really, really sick. I am stubborn as hell. Like, it takes a lot to make me, you know, calm down and be like, you know what, you can't do it all. You can't. You just can't. And sometimes... It's hard to accept that fact, but it is what it is, you know? You've got to come to a realization of you can't do it all. So, but yeah, so <laughs> my husband got home from work. He took a nap. I was like, I'm going to lay down too. I'm going to take a nap. I'm dipping into the color, uh, Biatch. <laughs> from the parent advisory palette and I'm just deepening up that crease. I wanted something colorful today. I'm feeling colorful. Might not be everybody's cup of tea, but you know what? I'm going to tone it down with some sparkles and prettiness too. But yeah, so don't laugh at us. We had to take our nap. Sorry. You know, it is what it is. And uh, then we both woke up and, you know, watched the Dick Clark. Well, we watched a movie and then we were watching the Dick Clark ABC, um, you know, ball droppage, whatever, from home. Swear, first year ever, you see Times Square. I'm from New York, so like, you know, Times Square completely like barren almost. Dude, it was just a realization again about how crazy this year is. You know, normally, no joke, you've seen it on TV. I'm sure you've seen it on TV to where I'm using a dark, dark brown called Hugo in the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And I'm just deepening up that outer edge in my crease. But if you've ever seen Times Square, um, during New Year's Eve, the rockin' New Year's Eve, then you know what I'm talking about. It is people like elbow to elbow, like just crazy town. You know what I mean? Like to the point where you can't even go to the bathroom. Okay, not to get TMI, but I'm going to get with you. Um, I've never been personally, and I was going to go one year, but then I had a co-worker of mine, a really close friend co-worker, tell me, Christy, don't go. I'm telling you, I went last year, and not only did I freeze my ass off all damn day, standing in line, trying to get, like, a decent spot, or just to get a spot at all, you know what I mean? Because there's so many people. Um, he says, 
you can't move. Once you're in that spot, you're you're done. You're like stuck in that spot. So I'm claustrophobic. One, that wouldn't fly with me. Like I can't get out, can't move. No, no, no. I'd have a panic attack and freak out. So then he also tells me, which I didn't need to know, that was like a double no-no or a triple no-no, is he tells me, and then on top of it, if you have to go to the bathroom, oh yeah, because maybe I asked him, I was like, well, what do you do, what do you do if you can't get out, you got to go to the bathroom or like you have an emergency or something. He's like, I don't know. He's like, you got to flag down a police officer or something or you're screwed, basically. And I'm like, shut up. Like, I thought he was messing with me. I'm like, there's no way, you know, there's no way people wouldn't go if it was like that. He's like, I swear I'm telling you the truth. And then another coworker of mine that was also friends with him as well as myself is like, yeah, Christy, no, it's true. Like, and he's not one to BS me. So then I was like, holy crap. And so I was like, what do people do then if they have to go to the bathroom? Because they're there all day and night long. You know what I mean? You have to go to the bathroom and they're all drinking. You know they're drinking. Okay, and you know what happens when you drink. Oh yeah, you know, you start drinking, you gotta go to the bathroom. Um, so anyways, he's like, people wear adult diapers. Like, depends. Oh yeah, they wear depends. I'm like, no. So they're like, pissing and shitting themselves right out in public in Times Square. Whoa. <laughs> Mind blown. I was like, this can't be. He's like, I swear to you. I swear. I said, did you do that? He's like, yeah. He's like, you have to. You don't have a choice. And uh, he says, you know, luckily I didn't have to like go, go, but he's like, you know, that's, you know, one of those things that you just have to do. I said, that's crazy. I was like, nope, forget it. I'll watch the ball drop on TV. I don't need any of that. That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. Like, no, no, no. So anyways, getting back to my point. Yeah, it was just like a total realization when I saw um, the whole Rockin' Eve last night and nobody there. It was really kind of sad, you know? It's just, it didn't seem like New Year's. I mean, this entire year just, like I said, the holidays didn't really seem like the holidays this year. New Year's didn't seem like New Year's this year. It was just a weird year in general. Total weirdness. But, you know, whatever. We're through it. We're over it, I hope. So now I'm using Wasted as a light pinky brow bone highlight. And uh, we're going to tone this down a little bit so it's wearable, but still fun. It's got little tiny sparkles in it. Don't even get me started started on the whole holiday packaging. I don't want to bitch in this video. This isn't a bitch video. You know what I look at it? Makeup to or uh Nikki tutorial said it best. I love love what she said. I'm going to try out one of these Amazon glitter majiggities. Uh, but anyways, she called makeup makeup therapy and I thought that was so cool because Honestly, I truly believe like that's why I love makeup. It's like one of those escape hatches for me. A lot of people think that it's just super, you know, vain and I, you know, tell a lot of people, I'm like, it has nothing to do with that. One, yes, you know, wearing makeup, you know, you look good, you feel good, da da da. I've said that a million times on my channel. It's great for you know, those of us that are going through a rough time or whatever. And of course, you know, the better you look and feel, I'm going to use some of that Mario, that pink metal look and put that on top. Really just spice up that lid. These are just stunning. Um, but yeah, I truly believe that. Like, it's more than just playing with makeup. It's also just like nice therapy, you know? It's that escape. Maybe it goes back to us being like little girls 
playing dress up. I don't know where it all, you know, stems from, but I don't know. It's my escape for sure. Whoa, these are like pigmented. Oh my gosh, please don't ruin this look because I'm liking it. I'm going to dabby dab. Wow, that's pretty. But yeah, these are the Orbit, um, the Amazon ones. And they're pretty pigmented and cool. They're pretty um, tacky and sticky. So just keep that in mind a little bit more than the steel ones, but... They still give that beautiful sheen to your eye with that, like, you know, I don't know, chromey look. You know what I'm saying? How I love the chrome look. So, I'm going to finish up the other eye, put some lashes on, and uh, pick out a nice lip for this. Probably a nude lip since the eyes are pretty banging. But, uh, yeah, and I'll be right back, all right? And I'll show you the finished look. Well guys, this is the finished look that I came up with. I hope y'all enjoyed it and liked it. I put on some uh, liner and some lashes. These are the new uh, Lily Lashes Orlando. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. And oh, also, I wanted to mention a quick thank you. One of my subscribers, Lauren, she actually got me this for Christmas and sent it to me and I haven't posted about it yet but I just want to say a special thank you to her. It was completely unnecessary but very very much appreciated. I love love you know even your sweet comments that you send to me and things like that on Instagram and commenting below. I love you guys. You are the sweetest subscribers ever but yeah I mean this is just so adorable and stunning, and it's definitely me. If you know me, I like anything that lights up and that's glittery. So thank you, Lauren, for that special surprise. It will always, always hold a dear place in my heart. Anyhow, I hope you all are having a great new year. I know it just began. Let's cross our fingers that this is going to be a wonderful year for everyone. And uh, thank you again so much for hanging out with me. I hope you all are doing well and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, well,